Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 24th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather forecast. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, pretty quiet compared to what it has been recently. Plasma filaments erupting, small CME as well. Nothing in an Earth-facing position. We are still slowly expecting the coronal hole wind stream right now. And as well, CME. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, you can see on the northern east side there, there is a cresting sunspot and as well plasma filaments dancing around there. The plasma has been pretty active recently all across the planet looking at the outgoing positions right now b class c class minor flares nothing in an earth facing position close look here at the cme big plasma filament eruption there interacting with the sunspot and the coronal hole. Looking at multi-spectrum, you can see all of the events. And as well, right along the equator, we do have an equatorial coronal hole, which is turning into an Earth-facing position now. Looking at 171 angstroms, you can really see that here, the dark region. We just... Had a pretty decent sized coronal hole leaving us. And now we have another one developing right along the equator. So right at us. Pretty active and amazing sun though. Much love to everybody. And thanks to Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. You can see the small CME blast right at Mercury. And as well Stereo B satellite. Real time solar wind. We are really slow ahead of the coronal hole wind stream. It, things are really starting to die down. 296 kilometers per second. They've been dying down throughout the day. But the density bunches are really starting to come in. And that's the plasma ahead of the coronal hole wind stream. Incoming tonight. Looking at our magnetosphere cut planes for pressure. And watch how that will look different over the next 24 hours with the incoming coronal hole wind stream as well lasco 2 and 3 our quiet sun schumann resonance for today a power of 6 not much has changed over the last few days it's been a nice comfortable buzz across the planet to say the least quality of 6.9 and an amplitude of 6 let's have a look at earthquakes as we have seen quite a bit of activity recently bouncing between Haiti and a Honga Tonga, Tonga region, lots of volcanoes. Nikolofa, Tonga, 4.4, 99 kilometer depth, 5.0 and a 4.4. So very active through the region. We just had another volcano awaken. Stay tuned for that. Kermadec Islands region, 4.5 and a 5.2 just north of New Zealand, Gisborne, 5.2, active across the Australian plate, 4.8 here reported in Wagon, Australia, that was early this morning, and as well Indonesia, minor activity, 4.6, 4.5, and as well the Philippines, 59 kilometer depth, 4.9 in Serengeti, Japan, 1, 4.5, Shikoku, Japan, 505 kilometer depth. That is the deepest of the day. As well, a 4.3 here off the coast of Kamchatka. Activity is still rising and continuing through Alaska. Unalaska reporting a 5.0 again, 3.7. And as well, a 4.8 up into Yakutut, Alaska. Across the United States, Ferndale, California, 3.0. And the largest through the region, White City, New Mexico, with a 3.5 minor activity through 
Oklahoma, and things are increasing through California recently. And this is how the day started with a 5.3 in Haiti and many earthquakes since. There's been about six earthquakes in the region. Moving eastward as far as Cruise Bay Islands with the 3.3. So very active Caribbean and Central American plate. As forecasted yesterday, I was pointing out how quiet it was and we were expecting an uptick across the planet. Looking at South America here, 4.3 there, El Cardo, Peru, as well as 4.5, Calama, Chile, 132 kilometer depth, 5.1 here, South Sandwich Islands, just ahead of the Michael Volcano, as well a rare 4.3 here to report in Tomorgat, Morocco, 3.9 here to report in Iran, very quiet through the region today. Early earthquake 5.1 was reported in Afghanistan, but not on the map anymore. As well, overlooking Hawaii, Pahala saw 3.0. That was the largest through the region. And activity seems to be increasing, but no lava is coming up. So it's just stirring underneath the summit in Kilauea, getting ready to bubble up again. Let's have a quick look at the last seven days across the planet for rumblers. Definitely pointing out the Cascades, North American plate up into the Juan de Fuca. As well, still Central America as earthquakes are bouncing back and forth right now between Haiti and the Tonga region. Arabian plate, lots of activity as of late. Australian plate as well on watch. And of course, Tonga region, as we have a newly awakened volcano in the Tonga region. So let's have a quick look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing most, sat mo most recent satellite imagery and as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated around the world. Starting out here with Reventador in Ecuador, Nevados de Chilean, Colombia, Sangay in Ecuador, and here is the new one, Ambrim and Vanuatu. So not quite Tonga region, sorry, Vanuatu. As well, Nevadas de Ruas, Sabancaya, Peru, Swiss and Najima, Japan, Fuego in Guatemala. Shevelich in Russia, Semeru in Indonesia. So that's about 11 volcanoes being updated today. And one of them is a brand new, Ambrum in Vanuatu. Having a look at satellite imagery over the Atlantic right now. Very big systems developing across the North Pole. Looking at a long atmospheric line of moisture here. Atmospheric river stretching from the Gulf of Mexico to Norway. And that's ahead of this very large low. Look at the size of this thing compared to a regular low pressure system. This thing fits half the map here. It's the size of Greenland. And watch for very strong winds heading eastward into Russia. And then as well, watch for this system heading into parts of Norway and Sweden. Very strong winds in the next coming days. Stay tuned, five-day forecast coming right up. After we have a look at the Pacific Ocean, we do have a tropical storm developing along the equator right now, just southeast of Hawaii. And as we, other than that, there are no other tropical storms to talk about except for Anna, who is already on land in Africa. Now let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and as well daily events worldwide starting out here in home base Ontario, Canada as we are under a deep freeze minus 14, minus 20 with the wind chills and more cold temps coming along. We just got dusted with about five centimeters of snow but the big story is going to be the system in the long range so watch for this low to head out of Ontario to the Atlantic provinces, high pressure ridge moves in 
and watch for snowfall along the convergence line. Lots of flurries this week through Ontario. But then watch as this system comes out of Colorado and races across the lower states into the Atlantic. We have a very big blizzard developing for Saturday into Sunday for the eastern seaboard. Very strong winds, heavy snowfall, and very cold temps in behind it. So blizzard warning for east coast United States this week and watch for that thing to race up the seaboard into the Atlantic provinces. So heads up my Atlantic province friends and as well friends and family across the world. Let's have a look at West Western Canada and the United States. High pressure ridge moving in and dominant over Western United States and as well pushing all the systems up into Alaska. Heavy snowfall warnings are persisting through parts of Alaska. But dry, very dry across the United States. Overlooking Europe, high pressure ridge, pretty dominant through Western Europe. Central Europe, you'd have a system coming through Thursday, which will bring scattered snow showers. Eastern parts of Europe, that very big low that I was showing you, will be bringing a lot of snow this week, Friday into Saturday. As well, through the Norways, you have that very strong system heading into Russia. Overlooking Russia and Southeast Asia, high pressure through Russia and a pretty decent system coming out of China this week. Heavy snowfall for northern China. Along a line of moisture mixing with a Pacific low coming out of the Philippines. Quick look over the Pacific Ocean as there's a pretty tightly whipped system heading into Kamchatka as well. Big winter storm heading there. Overlooking Indonesia, Malaysia. No major weather systems affecting you except for daily evaporation rains. And then Australia, as I've been reporting all week, that low is trapped over your continent right now. So daily rains throughout the week. Northern Territory, watch for flash floods as well through southeastern parts, Victoria. Tropical system could de be developing here through Vanuatu and New Caledonia. No major weather systems heading towards Hawaii this week. But definitely going to be keeping an eye on this sneaky low. As I was showing in the satellite imagery, there is a big one there developing. Lower level low. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains persistent throughout the week. Long line of moisture here Friday, Saturday. Argentina border with Brazil. Overlooking Africa, tropical storm Anna has made long landfall and is going to slowly trek westward through the continent, lower parts of the continent, it could get trapped as well. Deep, lower-level troughs. Overlooking the Indian Ocean, pretty big low-pressure system here developing. There's about three lower-level lows that are going to join forces there. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major lows on both hemispheres and as well pointing out a little bit of weather for Greenland as requested from a valued viewer. Thanks everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. I hope you enjoyed today's program. If you did, please hit that like button, share it with your friends and family from around the world. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye bye now.
you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.